again, YouTubers and Beyblade fans. 24-7 here again for Beyblades 24-7 with another Beyblade unboxing video brought to you by ToyGamingEmporium.com. For today's unboxing, we have a Hyper Blades Beyblade for you. Beyblade Metal Fury of Balance Type Bay BB122FX Diablo Nemesis XD. As you can see, it's basically already unboxed. This is how I received this. Um, I have some Phantom Orions like this as well, which will probably be our next unboxing just because they're already unboxed and I can't really sell ones that are open like this because people want them sealed just the way it is um, so on the back here you can see the energy ring which is nemesis a fusion wheel which is Diablo and the spin track slash performance tip XD which says X drive with three tip sizes but we'll go over that in more detail as we get this out here is the rip cord and assembly tool both in different shades of blue and the actual launcher here is the same blue as the assembly tool and here is the fully assembled bay as that is how you receive it so it's similar to at least the Japanese Vera Aries and probably the Hyperblades Vera Aries as well where you can change the tip can you actually change it without undoing it nope seems like that's firm in there so you cannot change the mode yeah unless I don't nope. maybe you can let's see Oh, yep, it is possible to actually change the mode, looks like, without undoing it. But it looks like there's only just two different modes here. So, um, I'm guessing that's going to be whole flat HF and perhaps spike S. Not positive, it does not say on the package here, it does not look like. Um, well, it says with three tip sizes, so maybe once we undo it here, we'll discover another different mode. So we'll open this up here, grab our assembly tool, although I probably have one elsewhere, but that'll do. And we can show you all the different parts of it here. And my apologies for lack of videos once again, but now that it is summer, our slowest part of e-commerce, I am trying to do more of a full-time YouTube thing. So the goal for this channel is to have new videos every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Sunday. Now try to have at least one unboxing and one battle video each week. So some weeks maybe two battles and one unboxing, some weeks maybe one unboxing, two battles. If that's what I just said, I'm not sure. You, you get the idea. But anyways, here is our face bolt for Diablo Nemesis. Try to give you a full look there. Let it zoom. Lots of nice little details on that there. With all the different creatures in there. You can see El Drago in there amongst others. I think I see Blitz Striker symbol in there towards the left. El Drago there towards the top amongst others. Our Energy Rain Nemesis A, which according to the back of the package, has one star of attack, two of defense, and four of stamina. Some different little intricacies there. Obviously yellow and red in color. Then the Fusion Wheel is two parts here. Here is the top half. Well, actually, let's put them together here so you can see how they look. And it says you can configure it for attack or for balance. So, here is one mode. I'm not sure offhand which is which, but here you can see on the wheel, you can see different creatures kind of on the side as well. Hopefully the camera picks that up okay. I know the lights kind of shine out. Let me adjust the light, see if that helps any. Kind of back it up a little bit, angle it, whatever. You get the idea. Now let's see, if we turn it upside down, is that the other, other mode then? No. So, let's see. So that's one mode where it's basically the top part of the fusion wheel that is the dominant part. And then if we turn this 90 degrees, I believe that will be our other mode. Though it looks basically the same. So perhaps I'm doing it wrong, but it looks like those are the only ways to do it. it does not seem to you know be able to flip over like that and do it the other way. So it looks like it's you know just the 90 degree differences there, which is pretty minimal difference if you ask me but perhaps that's just me so not positive offhand which way is attack which way is balance is like again can't see much of a difference anyway but that is the fusion wheel that has three stars of attack two stars of defense defense and two stars of stamina and then here we have the spin track slash performance tip xd which is x drive with three tip sizes for different attack modes it's got three stars of attack two of defense and one or of two of stamina and it says, no, spin track for one tip is one piece, which is not the norm for the Beyblades, as you probably know. So right there, looks like that would be Spike. And then if we, with our fingers here, kind of lift that up and turn it, becomes, I believe, a whole flat tip. 
But then the third mode, I'm having trouble figuring out what the third mode may be. Because it says there are three different modes. Because it seems to either go all the way over one way or the other. And I don't know what other mode it would have given what it is, because it doesn't rotate like the Vera Eras does in Japan. So um, don't think the back of that says anything but the code. Take a quick look at the instruction guide. Not that those are ever very useful for the Beyblades, in my opinion, but perhaps it gives us more information about the performance tip. Let's see. Attack, balance, stamina. Attack. Reach into holes. Grasp tabs and lift them. Turn tabs counterclockwise until they lock into place. Balance. Turn them clockwise until they lock into place. And stamina. Reach in the holes. Grasp tabs and lift them. Turn tabs to center of holes. The tabs do not lock in place for this position. So, I guess it just, with it sticking out, not quite as far. So we want to, like, let's see. It's hard to do. Trying to rotate it here without going all the way. Let's see. We'll figure this out, guys. Um, <laughs> should not be quite this difficult. I'm too old to know how to work these things anymore, I guess. I can't rotate it at all right now. Let's see. So you can see, like, I don't know, well, you can see that there's a little groove that that juts up in the middle there, so I'm guessing it wants to rest on that, because I don't see how else to configure it besides that. So we lift it up, and then, there we go. Try to rotate just partially, like so. So I guess that makes it stick out the most, so having it rest on that middle part there like that. I guess that is the stamina mode. So we push it over a little bit more, it clicks in a little bit further, so the stamina mode makes the tip longer. I'm not sure what those tips are called. If you know, feel free to comment and let us all know. But that is how the Diablo Nemesis all functions there. The best that we can explain. Um, our next video should be on Tuesday, and I will try to make that a battle video. I'm sure many of you are dying to see a new battle on this channel. We may feature this bay, as well as one of the other blades we unboxed already. So far, we've unboxed this Diablo Nemesis, obviously. Jade Jupiter and El Drago Destructor. Unless that's, is that the right name for the English version? I got it right off to the side here. Yep, El Drago Destructor, which we got right there. So if you want, feel free to comment. Let me know which battle you want to see featuring those three bays. Do you want Nemesis versus El Drago? Do you want Nemesis versus Jade Jupiter? Or do you want Jade Jupiter versus El Drago? Um, I'll try to do whichever one seems to get the most comments early on. And I'll get their video recorded and uploaded on Tuesday, if all goes according to plan. In the meantime, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a big thumbs up for another great unboxing video here on Beyblades 24-7. Check out ToyGameAndEmporium.com and or our Amazon store for all of your Beyblade and other toy and gaming needs. You can find a clickable link for both of those, as well as our Twitter and our Facebook in the video description box below. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for still being subscribed despite our major lack of videos. I think in the last year, 365 days, this is only our 12th video, but we're gonna try to change that now and try to do at least three videos each week, at least until the end of August, at which point start things start picking up again on the e-commerce side of things for us. But if we can manage our time wisely and efficiently enough, we'll keep that three videos a week going as long as we can. And if we find ourselves doing it even more efficiently than expected. Maybe we can up that to four or five videos per week. We'll see. But for now, three per week is the goal with new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next video on Tuesday.